Hi, lovelies. This is Sherry Elise of thewellnessuniverse.com and sharingwithsherry.com. And hi. <laughs> Yesterday was a rough one, huh? I uh, posted a pretty vulnerable video. You know, uh, before I posted it, you know, I watched it once and I don't usually watch my videos before I post it, but it was like, this is heavy. And I said a prayer before I hit post because my goal with that wasn't about me. My goal with that was about helping those who needed it. And it did. It helped a lot. And um, that's my reason for doing these. So today I wanted to talk about where we were yesterday and most importantly, where you were in the past or maybe where you are currently right now and how the hell we are going to rise up as a world, as a nation, as a human species. Because we all can have all of these different opinions and viewpoints and ways that we feel the world can change or ways that we think things should happen. And while we all may be so passionate about it and believe that it is the right way, we all have the right way. We all believe that. And that is what makes this life so beautiful and why what makes you beautiful and me and him and her and even the people that you disagree with. Because we all have this knowingness and this speaking in our soul that drives us every day and helps us form the opinions that we do and helps us move through the world as we do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Even if you vehemently, I never can say that word, vehement, whatever, that word, oppose somebody's views because they do not meet your own, that is okay. Where the challenge comes in is when we decide that we are going to put our views on others and tell others why they are wrong or why they should act a certain way or how they need to be in the world and how they should show up and who they should be. If that was the case, we'd all be freaking annoying as me <laughs> and peppy and sometimes weepy. Like we all would be exactly like me and that would honestly be a world that I wouldn't even want to live in. So I believe the only way we are going to rise up as a, as a beautiful world, as a peaceful world, is to allow people to walk in their own skins, be who they are, and let's just treat each other kindly and respectfully. However, that's really hard to do when we don't do that for ourselves. And that's where it begins. Because if you don't even know your own worth and if you don't even respect your own opinions or you don't even honor them because you're pushing them aside all the time when they show up and they're trying to guide you and tell you and yell and be like, hey, go over here, do over here, follow this, stop thinking that. If you don't pay attention to those voices within, you're going to walk through this world unhappy, unsatisfied, unfulfilled, un-everything. And then you're going to be angry at the world and at others because your needs are not being met. Your desires aren't being met. You're not living the life you're supposed to. And so you're going to take it out on everybody else and you'll keep making more and more poor decisions. So I'm asking you to number one, honor that voice within you, respect it, whatever it's saying, it's your truth. Don't worry about what he or she thinks about your truth. Don't worry about what the rest of the world is going to think. You have to look at yourself every single day in the mirror and you have to love that person looking back at you. And even when it's friggin' hard to do that, I ask, keep looking at yourself in the mirror and keep seeing that child within your eyes. Keep seeing that innocence and keep seeing that truth and keep seeing that love because there's so much beauty in you and there's so much beauty in the person that you vehemently oppose. And when we can start showing that to one another and with one another, we can change the world. I love you. As always, I love you. I even love the ones I don't agree with. Thank you all so much for being who you are. Now stop dimming that light and friggin' raise that thing. Shine it on everybody. Rise up. Let's rise up as a human race and start being the beautiful spirits and souls that we really are. Love you. Have a beautiful day and of course a beautiful bright light and life. <laughs>